An HDRI is a panoramic image that contains a wider range of brightness information than you can see with your eye or that your monitor can show you. And you can use them in Blender or, or any 3D software really to light your scene very realistically without much effort. So let me show you how to do that. You first of all need to select an HDRI that you want. I'm going to go with something that's quite high contrast just so that it's obvious what the effect is. Maybe this one. And then download it. Save it somewhere on your hard drive, doesn't matter where. And then inside of Blender, all you need to do, well, let me first show you that when I go to rendered shading mode by holding Z and clicking rendered, there's no lights in the scene apart from the default gray environment. So let's go to the environment settings and then click the little yellow dot here next to the color input of the surface and choose environment texture. Now, it's important not to select image texture over here because that's a slightly different node. You want the environment texture and then just open the file that you downloaded. And that's it. You're done. Now, if you need to change the brightness, you can do that with the strength over here. Maybe make that 0.5 or 10,000. <laughs> um, and if you need to rotate it, uh, what you can do is open up the node editor by creating a new editor over here, switching to the shader editor instead of object, choosing world. And th this is the actual node that was created on the side. You can see if I change the strength over here, it's going to do the same thing. And then you need to add a texture coordinate node and a mapping node and just connect the generated output to the vector and then the vector to the vector. And now if you rotate the Z axis, you'll see that the HDRI actually rotates. You see the shadow changes direction. And that's basically it. That's the basics of HDRI lighting in Blender. I'm going to upload another video after this one if you're interested in some more advanced methods and plugins and things you can use to make this process a little bit better. Uh, but otherwise, that's all you need to know.